Hello and welcome to my channel. This week we will have a look at the smart radio valves by Sitterwell. These valves are available on AliExpress and you can buy one piece or five pieces with Zigbee Gateway. They work in Tuya ecosystem. I got me a set with a gateway and four walls for the whole apartment. The set of four walls and the gateway cost me 135 US dollars. Good thing is that it arrived in one week from Italian warehouse. So let's see. Okay, so first the packaging. The wolves and the gateway came in individual boxes which were just put in a bag. I could hear them clanking when moved, so I'm not very satisfied with the packaging. Thankfully everything came functional. The boxes are simple white boxes, no branding here, but hey, who cares? The bigger problem were the instruction manuals, which were obviously photocopied, too small to be read, and I had to go online and search for the PDF version of the manual. The gateway comes in its own box, and it should have been with the AC adapter, since there is a space in the box for the adapter, which unfortunately wasn't included. The reason I chose these valves against other Tutuya widely available valves on AliExpress is because of the design. The other two I simply didn't like. They had the displays on top of the wall, and most important thing is that the displays couldn't be reversed. That means that when you look at the wall, the readings would be upside down. So I decided on these. In the vault box, you will find a vault photocopy of the instruction manual in English, three different adapters, and a screw. So I had to find a micro USB adapter in order to connect the gateway. The installation is pretty simple. Just plug in the gateway and if you have Tuya or Smart Live apps, you're good to go. Select Zigbee Gateway from the list, it will connect and add the gateway to the app. The gateway is very small, much smaller than you'd expect, especially if you are used to Xiaomi gateways. There are versions with Zigbee and Bluetooth, and I think the supplied version is Zigbee only since the Bluetooth light never lit. There will probably be firmware update available, so don't forget to update.
Okay, now is the time to install the walls. You'll need the channel lock pliers in order to tighten the walls properly, so let's remove the old wall first. After removing the old wall, especially if they have been there for a long time, it is recommended to clean the underlying wall. And to do this, you can use a small screwdriver to peel off the calcification. Okay, let's insert the batteries. After you do that, the current temperature will be displayed. There will be visible symbol of the pliers. Press and hold the knob for 3 seconds until the F1 1 appears. Then you can find the wall from the add new device on the gateway. This is the time to screw in the bowl. Make sure to install it correctly so it is not positioned upward or over the radiator as that might interfere with the temperature sensor. After fixing it, press the knob again until the F1-2 is displayed. In some time the plier symbol will disappear and the valve is ready to be used. So let's see the operations. There are three modes available. The automatic mode, which you can program for instance to turn on work days at 7 a.m. and turn off at 9 p.m. while on weekday weekends turn on at 9 a.m. etc. This mode is represented with the clock icon. Then there is the manual mode which was represented with the hand icon and when you set it the volt operates the same as the normal non-smart volt. And the final mode which is labeled with a snowflake icon is the antifreeze mode which is used only if you won't be using the volt for a prolonged period of time, for example if you go away for a week or so. The lock icon indicates children's lock mode and when it's active you won't be able to control the bulbs manually, only from the application. Final icon is the window open detection which is pretty standard on modern bulbs. 
that it stops heating if it detects sudden drop of temperature, that is, when you open the window. What I really like is the Google Home integration. If you name your valves intuitively, it is enough to say, Hey Google, set the living room to 25 degrees. Alright, setting two thermostats to 25 degrees. And it will set the temperature to your liking. What are my thoughts? Well, the design of the valves is really nice, but the packaging and extraction manual are simply awful. I have mixed feelings about the display because it flickers a lot when used in manual mode and is not readable from the angle. The manual controls could also be better. You have to turn a lot to get from 5 degrees to let's say 30 in steps of 0.5 degrees. Pressing the knob is also a bit awkward, but you get used to it. The application sometimes has slight delay, but the programming works just fine. Thanks for watching, and if you like my channel, please subscribe.